In this video, I'm going to share with you the truth about product management courses and whether they're actually worth it, especially if you're looking to land your first product management role, which from now on, I'll just say PM. And this is all based on my experience of 12 years in tech, six of those years in a PM role some years back, and currently a hiring manager. So I've got some thoughts on what I look for as well as what other hiring managers look for in candidates. We're going to cover three topics. First is how to actually land a PM role, what makes a PM course worth it, and the one course I recommend. So let's take it from the top. If you've been researching ways on how to land a PM role, you might have come across online courses or boot camps that claim to help you get there. And courses can certainly help you in that journey, but you also need to be realistic. A course is most likely not going to be the reason you end up getting a role as a PM. Most of it will depend on having relevant experience and how you can connect those experiences to what a PM role requires. To put it in simple terms, a PM is responsible for the financial success of a product. And this involves a handful of steps. Identifying a need in the market, comparing existing products in market, in features and price points that most closely meet that need, determining how a product could be built to better meet that need at a price customers are willing to pay, while ideally being profitable for the company. Evolving the product over time to deliver more value to customers and stay competitive. So when I say relevant experience, there are a handful of roles that naturally prepare someone to be a PM. Some examples would include sales, marketing, engineering, software development, project management. And these are all relevant experiences because these roles are basically a part of the entire value chain of what a PM is responsible for, or at least overseas. So all of these roles are really good entry points through which you can land a PM role. In fact, my entry point into product management was through sales and marketing. And with the support of my manager, I was able to network my way into my first PM role. So my recommendation would be to actually start with some of those roles to gain the relevant work experience that's going to position you for a potential PM role in the future. So if experience and networking is what matters most, what is a course gonna do for you? Well, it's going to give you a framework on how to think about product management from start to finish and gives you the tools to handle all the steps along the way. Most importantly, when you go through the content, you'll have more context about how to tie your experiences to the PM role. That way, when you're actually seeking a role, you can start including relevant keywords in your LinkedIn profile, your resume. You can better communicate your story of your experience and how that ties. This will help you get more visibility from recruiters, but it's also going to help you have better and more valuable conversations with the people that you eventually network with. Now courses, however, are not a golden ticket to a six figure job. Ultimately, what's going to make a PM course worth it for you is the following. Whether it offers a verified certificate, the relevance of that certificate in the job market and cost. Now I start with a verified certificate because if you go through a bunch of coursework and you don't have anything at all to show for it after you've completed it, then it doesn't really have a whole lot of worth in the job market. Now, ideally, you would apply what you learn to develop your own product and sell it. But obviously that requires a ton of work and a ton of dedication to actually put this into practice, which I would actually recommend you do if you are really that interested in product management because that is the exact experience you need to land a PM role. But if you don't go down that path, the least you can get from any of these courses is a certificate. That said, there's no industry standard or widely recognized certificate or certification in product management. Nothing today is going to stand out in a meaningful way to recruiters. And certainly nothing that's going to compensate for a complete lack of relevant work experience. So what this means is that you need to find a course that is relatively inexpensive. Now I've seen a lot of product management boot camps and these really formal university course tracks that you can take, but unfortunately those cost 
thousands, many thousands of dollars to complete. Now, although I'm sure the content and the education is great, it's realistically not going to do much for your career above and beyond what a far less expensive course track option would do for you. Now, there could be an argument that some of these boot camps are actually worth it. Now, I would say that could be true if there is a pretty big community of learners, people already in the industry that are already product managers, if there's also dedicated career support to really get people from taking this coursework to getting them jobs as product managers. But I haven't seen anything super compelling in that way. And in many cases, companies sponsor their employees to simply take these courses. So for a lot of those folks, this is all just basically free education. It's unlikely that they're there to network much. If even there is an opportunity or a good way to do so through whatever boot camp or certificate program through a university. In all likelihood, they're just gonna be focused on completing the coursework. Now on the opposite end of that, you've got courses and resources that are free. There are a lot of great resources online if you simply Google or YouTube videos on product management, but obviously you're not gonna get a certificate out of it or any kind of way to prove your knowledge. Unless, again, you apply it to a product of your own that you develop and build and iterate and sell to people, which at that point, you're just gaining experience, which is, as I mentioned many times, a really good route to go if you really want to be a product manager. But if you don't do that, find an inexpensive course. And the one course that I recommend that I've actually brought up in a prior video is available on Coursera, one of the largest online learning platforms that I'm a huge fan of. And that course is Digital Product Management Specialization developed by the University of Virginia. And I've got a link in the description below that you can check out and learn a little bit more. This is actually what is considered a specialization track, which is simply a series of courses on a subject. But it'll cover topics related to some of the steps that I mentioned earlier in this video. And it'll go into the Agile methodology, which is one of the most used processes and frameworks for software development. It's how to identify market needs, design products with the right features to meet that need and how to iterate and continue to develop the product over time. Now the content itself is about as solid as really anything else out there. But one of the reasons I like this one is because it's developed by the University of Virginia, which has a top 20 MBA program. Now, why does that matter? It just so happens to be the case that when large companies are looking to hire product managers, one of their favorite places to go are MBA schools. And that's because everything you learn in an MBA program, a lot of the business acumen is actually used quite heavily as a product manager. So it's a pretty natural role to go into from an MBA program, which I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but something else to consider. I've got a lot of content on MBA programs. Feel free to check it out after this one. But short of it is, University of Virginia has a really strong brand reputation in the MBA space. So when you complete the specialization track and you earn your certificate, it's going to have the university name on it, as well as, of course, Coursera's logo. This will help you more than most other courses in having your LinkedIn and your resume stand out to recruiters. And to me, one of the best parts about it is the cost, which depending on how quickly you you can complete this entire specialization track could be as little as $79 if you complete it all within a month. Now, depending on your schedule, that may or may not be super realistic, but certainly two to three months can very easily be done if you dedicate yourself to just this course track. So folks, let me know down in the comments below any boot camps or certification programs that you've come across that maybe you have shown interest in or ones that you personally believe are worth it. Now, obviously the job market is evolving, higher education is evolving, so there's going to be new options out there. And of course, depending on when you watch this video, there may be some new options that have you know a pretty good value proposition. In any case, I think it'd be beneficial for that to be shared again down in the comments if you come across anything. Now, if you wanna hear about my experience as a product manager in the tech hardware space, make sure to check out this next video where I talk about the $500 million plus portfolio that I managed and what my experience was like. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.